council member, Matthew Eugene, who represents the 40th Councilmatic District here in New York City. During Black History Month celebration ceremony at Downstate Medical Center in Brooklyn, New York, on Wednesday, February 1st, 2012, Councilmember Matthew Eugene presents a proclamation from the City of New York to Brigadier General Stace D. Harris. Celebration is a very important one, not only 
because uh, we are celebrating the countless uh, number of contributions of black people to this country. But it is very important also that we take time to hold the moment we reflect on our history. We reflect on where we were and where we are at and where we want to be. Also, it is very important that we think about the sacrifices of those who have paved the way for us to be where we are at. There are many, many people who have made the sacrifices for us, we from the black community. We can mention all the part. And when we see General Harris, she makes us think to about Rosa Park. And one of the persons that I know you all, you all know, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., all of us who stand on the shoulders of those black brothers and sisters who have made the sacrifices to change America, to make America a better place for all of us. And what I am seeing today is a reflection of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dream. This is a reflection of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. All of us together, from different backgrounds, in this fine medical institution, housing medical center, celebrating our heritage. This is so wonderful. This is great. And today, it is my honor and privilege to be here to present a proclamation to somebody that we are all proud of. Who has uh, compiled an excellent report of service in the United States Air Force. I'm talking about the Brother General C.C. Arms. As a city council member and also as a chairman of the Veterans Committee in the city council, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for your service and I thank you for everything you have done for this country. And all of us, we stand under shoulder too. Because because of you, men and women in uniform and uh, veterans, we are enjoying the privileges that we are enjoying today. You put your life, all of you put your life in danger to defend and protect all way of life, our liberty, our democracy. And this is the reason we can go and do our business history. We all owe you a great deal of gratitude, but there is no word that can express you know what we owe you, our gratitude to you. But as we're talking of gratitude, I'm going to present you with a proclamation from the great city of New York.